ipsy times two. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I didn't get to do a lot of box openings in December, so I'm all backed up and I got to do two at the time. So we did the two birch boxes and I got two boxy charms in last month, so I got one boxy charm this month. I got two Ipsy bags this month. I got oh my goodness, all these box openings. Like I seriously like I'm ready to move on a bit from the box openings. I know a lot of y'all love the box openings, so I'm going to keep doing them, but I'm ready to move on a bit, you know what I'm saying? Are y'all enjoying What's Up in Makeup? I hope so. If you are enjoying the box openings, thank you for being here. This is Ipsy times two. So first thing I'm going to pull up is the December bag. And I think that that's, no, I don't even know where the card is for the December one. The card has no information on it. It's not useful. So I, I lost the card. Well, let's talk about the bag first. The bag is cute. Uh, it's black and it's got the uh, deep purple plum colored zipper. Uh, it's got the little heart here that says Ipsy on a little plastic cart. It's cute. It's a cute bag. I'm really thankful to have it. First thing I got in here is the Pixie. This is the Fairy Dust in Brightening Bear. And my biggest complaint about this is the applicator. I think that it's lame and weird and it's not comfortable to go on. I'll uh, show you how that goes on there. Let's get out a brush and let's show you what happens to this as soon as you try to blend it. <gasps> Bye! It's not there anymore. Where did it go? Oh, it went away because the eyeshadow stinks. I will tell you that I have always hated Pixie eyeshadows, but Pixie as a brand has improved a lot since the first time I tried a Pixie product and I was really rooting for this product. I really wanted it to work and it's terrible. It, it doesn't work. Uh, it blends away. It's just, even with a primer, it doesn't stick. I mean, unless you got super glue on your eyes, this is not going to stay on. It's, it's terrible. It's not a good product. All right, next, moving on from that one. Ooh, we have a good one that I got. This actually, I was shocked how much I like this. This is by Crown Brush and I have one of those brush sets from Crown Brush and it's pretty terrible. Like, there's very few brushes in it that I actually use and like. Do I even have any in here? I don't even think, they don't even, they didn't even make it to this, like, thing of brushes. Like, they, they didn't even make it there because they're terrible brushes. <laughs> I don't even know what I did with them. They don't work. I might have thrown them away because I wouldn't even give them any because they're so bad. But anyway, on to this brush. I love this brush. It's called the Crease Shadow Brush and it's C476. Let me show you that looks like up close and that is the pack on color part i love this because it's tapered down to here so you can get a lot of color on there it's very soft and it just packs the shadow on very nicely then on the other side you have this really cool crease uh, brush here that's very nice for getting deep into the crease i just got this brush in my beautylish lucky box this is the wayne goss brush and it is in number 20 and you can see that there isn't a ton of difference between them the wayne goss one is pointier. Uh, the taper goes down further, but it's the same kind of general idea. I would say the Wayne Goss brush is much better for really getting very deep into the crease, getting that fine line in there. Uh, it is softer uh, and it does pick up more product than this one, but I mean, really and truly, there isn't a ton, I don't know, they are, they are different. They are quite different in their shape, but they, they serve a similar purpose. Let's just say that. I, I can't. I tried really hard to compare them. I can't compare them. There's there's a big difference between these brushes. I can't. I tried. I tried to say it was the same as the Wayne Goss, but I can't because it's not, okay? It's just not. I tried. Crown brush is a lot cheaper than Wayne Goss. I think that's a $30 brush. I tried. It doesn't work. But this really is a nice brush, though. I promise it is. Uh, it just doesn't get the detailing in there like the Wayne Goss one does. And it's not as soft. Um, but it is still a really nice brush. And it's very nice for getting color into the crease. And I do really enjoy it, but... I don't know what I was thinking. So very, very thankful to have this. I think just having this brush alone, I think is the value of the bag for me right here. I, I think this is definitely worth $10. Next up, another thing that adds to the wonderful value of this bag. This is the Tarte Light Camera Lashes Mascara. And I have used this before. I'm going to save this because I don't want to open it right now, but this is a fantastic mascara. Very good at separating the lashes, lengthening, volumizing, everything I love in a mascara. This does, doesn't flake. It's just a really nice mascara. Uh, I wish it lengthened than just a little bit more, but overall, love, love, love this mascara. So that pushes it well over the $10. Next thing is a NYX Butter Lip Balm in Lady Fingers. I think I have the Butter Gloss in Lady Fingers. I don't think I have the Butter Lip Balm, but I really do like the NYX Lip Balms. Uh, the ingredients, uh, mineral oil is the number one ingredient in it, I think. Yep, mineral oil. 
we'll just kind of swatch it just so you can see that it does have very, very slight pigmentation there, which is very nice because when I'm at work, I don't like to reapply lipstick because I feel like it's going to get all over the place. It smells really good too. It has that, it smells like a Bonnie Bell or Bon, bon Bell, however you say that, um, lip product. I don't know. It's not my favorite formula of lip product, but it's a nice thing to throw in my pocket to add a little bit of lip color through the day. So very, very thankful to have that as well. This is one that I'm not excited about. This is the Cool Way Low Heat Revolution Boost. Um, and this, let's see. Seriously? <laughs> my husband's in there farting Shut through up, my video. Me, that like, was that dog. was so loud. <laughs> you heard that, right? Did you hear that? You, you gotta fucking, you can't, you gotta edit that. No, right everybody farts. It's not that big of a deal, no, but still, like, it's, it's in not, the middle of my video. Stop. Come on, man. No, you did it you knowing I was filming. <laughs> you didn't have to, you didn't have to push it out that loud. You didn't have to do that. You knew better. If you don't edit that shit out, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I have to live with him. I have to edit it out. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> Okay, so I have used this product before. Um, I used it a couple of years ago. I'm probably going to give it a second chance. But basically what you do is you wash your hair and then you put this in and then you leave it in your hair and it's supposed to make your hair straighten out so that you don't have to straighten it when you get out of the shower to minimize the damage from heat styling. I don't remember this really doing anything, but I don't, I remember being distracted as I was trying this product. So I want to try it again. I don't have high hopes, but I'm going to try it again and we'll see how it goes. So that was my December Ipsy bag. So overall, I mean, we're definitely above the $10 range. I, I think this is definitely worth $10 on its own. I would pay $6 for this. I would pay $4 for this. I would pay $3 to try this again and I wouldn't pay anything for this because it's terrible. So, but definitely well over the $10 price tag for this. And uh, I think this is the best Ipsy bag I've gotten in a while, mostly because I love this brush. Let's go ahead and move on to January's bag. Now, I haven't had this one quite as long, so I haven't had quite as much of a chance to try things, but I have tried a few things. The biggest disappointment in here, I think, is getting two lip products. Well, not the biggest disappointment. There's actually a bigger disappointment in this, but I feel like two moisturizing lip products in the same bag is kind of lame, especially since they gave a moisturizing lip product last month, which was the, the NYX one, even though it's got a tint to it, but they gave us the Jouer, well, they gave me the Jouer Essential Lip Enhancing Conditioning Lip Treatment, and then they gave me the Estrida Naturals Orange Mint Lip Balm. Um, now, I like Jouer as a brand. Uh, I didn't see anything fabulous with this. I actually had really dry lips before I went to bed, and I was like, okay, let's put this to the test. I put the Jouer on, and I woke up, my lips were pretty much exactly the same, so I was really disappointed in the performance of this. Uh, it doesn't say the ingredients on here, uh, but I I just, I was not impressed with this at all. And there's no scent to it, so that doesn't really give me any benefit to using it if there's like no happy, yummy scent. Yeah, it, I mean, it doesn't smell, it smells like oily. Uh, it doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell bad, it just doesn't smell good. So this, this I was pretty bummed out about. This here is the orange mint one though, does have a really, really nice scent. And the fact that it's natural makes me super happy. I could have done without this one, but really, really happy about this one. It's very moisturizing. It's got a great smell. The orange and the mint actually go really well together, surprisingly, even though I would never put them together in food. They smell really nice together. It's that, that fresh, clean awesomeness. And there's no color or anything to it. It's just, it's a really nice lip balm. Okay, the biggest disappointment in this for me was the Pacifica eyeshadow because mine was shattered when I got it. Um, I had to put it in the bag that actually there's a nail polish in here came in this bubble wrap, but I had to put it in there so it didn't make a huge mess. The blue side of this still has remnants of when I opened this. Uh, and it seems like it was a really nice eyeshadow. I haven't told Ipsy yet that, I, that it's broken, but I'm going to so that hopefully they send me a replacement product. But it's just completely, I'm going to try not to make too big of a mess. I can't get it out. I can't even get it out of the box. Like I literally, I'm like pushing to try to get it out. And I can't get it out. It's like stuck in there. Okay, I'm just going to have to rip the box. That's just what it comes down to. Okay, it was like glued in there. Looks like, oh, okay, the little tape on the bottom. There's like a little tape thing on the bottom. I don't know. It was like stuck in the box. But it's completely shattered. Yeah, I mean, like I don't know if you can see that, but... 
it's yeah but I did want to swatch what it is for you so you can kind of see what it is before I throw it away because I'm gonna throw it away as soon as I film finish filming but it's really really pretty uh, the last Pacifica eyeshadow that I got was terrible. It was probably one of the worst eyeshadows I've ever gotten in a subscription box. That was, a, I think, of one of the baked ones, maybe? I don't know. But this one is actually really nice. Uh, and, and Pacifica is a natural makeup brand, so I'm always happy to have natural stuff. And this is uh, it just says coconut natural mineral coconut eyeshadow so hopefully ipsy will be able to give me another one of those because i really really like it a lot the next product that we got is actually one that's really exciting to me and it's the lash food and this is a serum that you put on your eyelashes and i've heard wonderful things about lash food now i have been a rapid lash addict for like the past year or so i keep buying this over and over and over again because this is the only reason why i even have lashes at all really is because of this my lashes were so short and stubby before i started using this and it's amazing another one that i use for my eyebrows is the my shell dermaceuticals which is a natural one uh, but these are starting to run out they're starting to get low so i'm so excited to try lash food and see if it's just as amazing as my rapid lash and my my shell so super 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 uber happy about that and then the last thing in here is a nail polish and it's by pro bell nail lacquer and we'll see how opaque this is. Okay, this doesn't look super opaque as it's running down the inside of the bottle. I would say this is probably two or three coats looking at it dripping down. Let's go ahead and swatch. Oh yeah, it's very thin. It's a very pretty color though. This one right here, this is one coat. You can see it's definitely not opaque. All right, let's go ahead and do two coats. You can do it. Yeah, that's two coats there, right there. I think it's gonna need a third. All right, there we go. Now we got opaque. Okay, so there isn't a very strong smell from this nail polish, which is really nice. It's just the typical nail polish smell. Definitely opaque in three coats. It's a very pretty periwinkle kind of blue. Let me see if I have any dupes. Okay, believe it or not, all the nail polishes I have, I don't have any dupes for this color, so I am very, very excited to have it. As for this bag as a whole, I think I'm also very happy about it. I mean, really just one product that I'm not excited about at all, um, except for the Pacifica. I, I would have been excited about it if it hadn't been shattered. I don't know why they would put the nail polish in a bubble wrap and not put the shadow in a bubble wrap. They always bubble wrap their shadows. I don't know why they did that. Maybe they're just trying to save some money or something. I don't know, but that was not a good call at all. So excited about the Pacifica. If I can get another one, uh, we'll, we'll pretend it's not shattered and I'll say I would pay, we'll say $7 for this just because it's a really pretty color and it seems to be very nice. Yeah, it doesn't blend away like the, um, like the Pixie one did at all. So we'll say, well, you know what? I, the, what, how much are the L'Oreal Infallibles? Like $7, something like that. I would pay the same price as an Infallible for this. So we'll say seven. The Jouer, I would not pay anything for because it did not work well for me. Uh, this Orange Mint Lip Balm, because it is natural and organic, I would pay $4 for this. And the Lash Food, I would pay $10 to try this. This is very, very expensive product. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot in it, though. It's only half of a milliliter. So this is not something that is going to last a super long time, but it's gonna be long enough for me to, to give me a chance to try it. So I would say $10 on that alone. So let's see, is that everything? One, two, oh, and the nail polish, I would pay, I don't know, I, I mean, it's, I would pay $6 for the nail polish. Yeah, I mean, like a middle of the road, like drugstore kind of nail polish. I don't think that it's more fabulous than, you know, I wouldn't say it's up like to like Zoya or like, one of those fancier nail polishes. Uh, I would say six bucks on that. So Jen's personal value is definitely gonna bump this one up over the $10 price tag again. So two wins for Ipsy in December and January for me. If you got Ipsy bags in December and January, I would love to know what you think of what you got. I'd love for you to know what you thought of what I got. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for watching, mad love, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!